So the first chapter is physics and measurements and this is the solution of exercise problems. So the first problem is the standard kilogram is a platinum iridium cylinder 39 mm in height and 39 mm in diameter. What is the density of this material? So uh, let us first look what are the information which is given. So we know the mass which is 1 kg, height of the cylinder is 39 mm and the radius of this cylinder is 39 by 2 millimeter because 39 is diameter so if we divide it by 2 so we can get this radius so you know how to find this density so density is equal to mass per volume since mass is equal to 1 kg but we we need to find this v volume so now you can see here the formula for volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h and uh, we can put value here and all these quantities are in millimeter so i will get millimeter cube so i got this answer so 1 millimeter is equal to 10 raised to power minus 3 meter so i can convert so finally i get this answer so putting the values of m and v in this expression i will get this answer and this answer is in si units so this is the density of that material next problem is problem number two the mass of the planet saturn is 5.64 into 10 raised to power 26 kg and its radius is 6 into 10 raised to power 7 meter calculate its density so now first let us look what information is given since mass is given and the radius of this planet is given since we know that density is equal to mass per volume so i need to find this volume so volume of a sphere is given 4 pi 3 pi r cube so putting the value of r here and taking its cube i get this volume which is 9.047 into 10 raised to power 23 meter cube thus simply putting the values of m and volume v i can get this expression and solving for this expression i can get density so finally the value of density is 623 kg per meter cube so now this is the answer of this problem next is problem number three how many grams of copper are required to make a hollow spherical shell having an inner radius of 5.70 centimeter and outer radius of 5.75 centimeter the density of copper is 8.92 gram per centimeter cube so okay let us first look what is this hollow shell so take an example of a football so there is no mass contained within this football only the mass is contained on the surface which has a certain thickness so hollow shell means the same so so now let us define these two parameter ri and ro ri mean the distance from center to the inner surface and ro means the distance from center to the outer surface because surface has a certain thickness just like a football so so ri is given which is 5.70 ro is equal to 5.75 centimeter and density of copper is 8.92 gram per centimeter cube and we are asked to find this mass in kg so let us first find the volume of this shell so we can look here that uh, the mass is only contained in this shaded region so we need to find the volume of this shaded region only so there is another there are many ways of calculating this but, but the simple way is calculating by this formula so we can assume this larger sphere of radius ro and we can find its volume and uh, we can find the volume of this smaller sphere of radius ri and we can subtract them so that is all so using this formula i can take this 4 pi by 3 as a common so i will get R O cube minus R I cube. So putting the values of R O and R I, I can get this answer. So this is 20.59 centimeter cube. So now further it is very simple. We know the formula for rho. The density is equal to mass per volume. But since we know this density and we know this volume, so I can find the mass from here. So mass is equal to rho times V. 
so putting the value of rho which is 8.92 gram per centimeter cube multiplied by volume which is 20.59 centimeter cube so i can get this mass which is 183 gram since we are asked to find the this mass in kilogram so we can find it since we know that 1 gram is equal to 10 raised to power minus 3 kg so this will be 0.183 kg next is problem number four and it is just like problem number three so what mass of a material with density rho is required to make a hollow spherical shell having inner radius r1 and outer radius r2 so already i have already discussed what does it mean by hollow hollow shell or hollow sphere so all the mass is contained on the surface and no mass is in inside this sphere so you can see here the inner radius is the distance from center to the inner surface and the r2 outer radius is the distance from center to the outer surface so in this in this question the we need to find mass and you know the formula for density is equal to mass per unit volume so from there i can get mass is equal to density time volume so let us find the volume of this spherical shell this this hollow shell since the mass is only contained on the surface so i can find the volume of this larger sphere of radius r2 and i can find the volume of the this smaller sphere of radius r1 and i can subtract them so that is all so from here i can get 4 pi by 3 r2 cube minus r1 cube so this is the volume this is the volume which contain the mass so from there i can get this mass is equal to rho times v so this putting the value of v i get this expression so this is the required expression in this question next problem is problem number five so the molar mass of iron is given and uh, in part a we are asked to find the volume of one mole of iron in part b we are asked to find the volume of one single iron atom and in part three we are asked to find the cube root of atomic volume to have an estimate for the distance between atoms in the solid molar mass is given and we know the density which is 7.874 gram per centimeter cube so in quest in part a we are asked to find the volume of one mole so this is very simple the density is equal to mass per unit volume so volume is equal to mass over density so putting the values of this m and rho so which is 55.8 gram divided by 7.874 gram per centimeter cube so the volume turns out to be 7.10 centimeter cube so this is the volume of one mole of iron in question b we are asked to find the volume of one single atom you know what does it mean by molar mass molar mass means the mass of one mole of iron and one mole contains 6.02 into 10 raised to power 23 atoms so this is a very simple analogy since you can see here the molar mass is equal to 6 a 7.10 centimeter cube so by this we can write this expression that is 6.02 into 10 raised to power 23 atoms have 7.10 centimeter cube of volume so i can from here i can find the volume of a single atom simply by dividing this this value so i will get 7.10 divided by 6.02 into 10 raised to power 23 which is equal to 1.17 into 10 raised to power minus 23 centimeter cube and uh, since 1 centimeter cube is equal to 10 raised to power minus 6 meter cube so i can convert this into si units in quest in part c it is asked to find the cube root of volume since you know the volume of a sphere is 4 pi by 3 into r cube so if i take this cube cube root on both sides so i can have a very rough estimate of this uh, radius of radius of that uh, sphere so it will actually tell us about the interatomic separation that how close or how 
it will tell us about the interatomic separation that how close these atoms are so since we know the volume we need to take only this cube root so solving through through calculator so i get 2.27 into 10 raised to power minus 10 meter since nanometer is widely used in atomic physics so i can write this r is in terms of nanometer so r is equal to 0.22 nanometer 1 nanometer is equal to 10 raised to power minus 9 meter